Watch what you bet right here on that betting show. Three games we're going to take a look at tonight. The Pirates said he go for the series winning over the Cubs. It's a four-game series. They did pick up the first two. So if they grab this third game here, they can pick up that series victory. Pirates plus 110, 9.5705. MLB Extra Innings live from PNC Ballpark in Pittsburgh. Cubs 45-41 and 41 on the season. The Pirates 41-43. and 43. Darvish versus Archer. Now, Teddy, the interesting part about this is, you know, Cubs really like those friendly confines of Wrigley Field on the road. A little bit of a house of horrors here. Yeah, I mean, they've been a nightmare for their backers. They've lost each of their last six road series. Joe Madden held the team meeting uh, before last night's game. Quote, you know, I was talking about some concepts that I think are important that we may have gotten away from that I want us to get back to and really rally around the group because that's who we are. We've been a tight-knit group that has thrived on, thrived on our method, so I wanted to make sure that's reinforced, and that's the forefront of their mind as we continue to move forward. So they had the team meeting and then proceeded to come out and get – Smacked around again, a <laughs> 5-1 loss in uh, Pittsburgh uh, last night. You know, this is a team that hasn't won a road series since the middle of May when they took two out of three at Washington. And the Pirates, they're hitting the ball right now. You know, Josh Bell, all-star, quote, coming into camp. We knew that we could be a force on offense, and now we're showing it. Archer hasn't had good aggregate numbers. You know, two and four with a ERA over six and eight starts and coming back off the injured list. But... He's pitched well against the Cubs. They've won each of his last three and five of his last six, and he pitched pretty well last time out. Of course, Darvish pitched pretty well last time out uh, as well. Uh, you know, a pitcher who has had more than his share of concerns uh, this season with control and with home runs allowed. But finally, well, after 10 straight no decisions, he took a loss in his last start. And, and But... Markets still like Darvish. The advanced metrics are there. I don't know. I like them today. I will not be back in the Cubs as road chalk on the highway this evening. Yeah, I think we're going to get some runs there, too. Again, good weather out there in the Midwest, looking at a nine and a half opens up at some tens popping up across the board. We'll take a look at another NL Central team and battle tonight. Brewers and Reds, game three of a four game set here. The Reds favored minus 129 with a total of 10, 7 10 tonight. MLB Extra Innings, Red American Ballpark in Cincinnati, Ohio. Brewers 46 and 40 on the season. The Reds 39 and 44, as we saw the Brewers win game one of the series. Reds return the favor in game two. Game three set up tonight, as we said, 7 10. Yeah, and that was a nice momentum win for Cincy last night. They stole that game. You know, uh, they scored in the 11th inning after, you know, with Puig on first base, he went to third on a single and then kind of raced home when the ball got away uh, from the first baseman on the throw in. Manager David Bell, quote, you can live with the aggressiveness because when guys have the freedom to be aggressive, man, he willed that win with his base running. To win a game with base running, that's pretty cool. That's fun. That doesn't always happen. It's a Cincinnati team. We've talked about it a couple times how much emphasis they put on this homestand right before the All-Star break. Three and two on the homestand so far. Momentum-inducing win uh, last night. Sonny Gray's been in pretty good form. You know, Gray, we criticized him a fair bit. He has not more than four runs in any of his 16 starts this season. He pitched well last time out. Uh, two runs, four hits, and six and a third uh, against the Cubs. And the Brewers have been struggling for Shasin. Just one and six his last seven. He hasn't recorded a single out past the fifth inning in his last sixth, and he's uh, allowed a bunch of home runs in his last three for them. Although, worth noting, Josh Hader did not get used in that extra inning affair last night. So the Brewers have two strong innings out of the bullpen if they need it to close out the game this evening. Crazy, Teddy. That is the one team that we look at with the bullpen on one guy to see if he's pitched back-to-back nights. If he went two innings, are they saving him up here? It's amazing how much the hater backers can take a look at that and certainly delve into it to see if he's going the next day. We'll keep an eye on that as well. How about this one, Teddy? Sometimes you have to look at the screen and you have to say, you know what? i got to fact-check my own self. The Giants, yes, the San Francisco Giants, Try to make it four straight, not four straight wins, not four straight games with 10 hits, not four straight games with five runs, four straight games with 10 plus runs as they take on the Padres tonight. Padres favored minus 126, a total of eight and a half. The Giants are 38 and 47 on the season. The Padres 42 and 43. We take a look at some updated numbers between Anderson and Quantrill tonight. You know, look, some of them coming back. Look, San Francisco is hot at the plate, opens up at minus 145, minus 150 at SBRodds.com. Now we're sitting in those mid-120s. San Francisco bats, Teddy. We staying hot down here tonight or what? Well, and remember, Bruce Bochy spent, a, uh, I read like five quotes over a two-week span about Bochy talking about how, hey, we can't hit, hey, we're not hitting. Now his quote, when you're hitting like we're hitting right now, you're going to win games. <laughs> uh, of course, it's a Giants team that has very little positive through the first half of the season, and now they've got some positive momentum.
which I think matters. Anderson won his most recent start a couple of weeks ago, held Arizona to two runs, seven hits and a walk, over five and two-thirds. The markets don't love him because he doesn't get a ton of strikeouts. The Giants kind of own the Padres of late. They've won, you know, five of their last seven against San Diego since losing the first series of the year. And it's a Padres team that's not playing good baseball right now. You know, 500 at home, sub-500 uh, overall. After today, they got a four-game set in L.A. against the Dodgers, who are 35-9 and nine at home this season. Kind of a big deal uh, <laughs> for uh, San Diego. Andy Green, quote, We've been a streaky team in the first half of the season, but we've also been resilient. We responded well when they've lost a couple. They gave the game away over the weekend, then lost the last two. And now, Quantrill going tonight. It was only 10 days ago that Green said Quantrill is moving from the rotation of the bullpen. Now, <laughs> after four appearances out of the bullpen... You know, but again, this guy's a former first rounder back in 2016. They do expect things out of him down the road. But when you get sent to the bullpen and then 10 days later, you're back in the starting rotation. That's a concern for me. I can understand why all the money has come on the Giants for this one.